In this video, we're going to show a few new sneak peek options upcoming in Builder 2019. And this particular uh, feature will involve tendons and the ability to calculate long-term losses and represent tendons um, using a different shape, uh, which is called linear fillet option in the program. So we'll go ahead and, and show this. Let's go ahead and launch launch Builder. Um, this option is available in the PT shop drawing module, which will also be known as felt 3D. So we'll go ahead and launch um, this module here uh, with Floor Pro. This could also be launched with Adapt Matte, just for example, and also for Adapt SOG. So we'll go and open it with Floor Pro. I'm going to create a model just using the Floor Wizard, and we'll do a three span by four span, let's do five spans to give the tendons a bit, bit of length here. So we'll do a 30 foot span and here we'll do a 30, 33 foot span. Um, and we create our, our tendons like so. Now by default, when you model tendons, um, if I open up the tendon properties, we can see the tendon is defaulted to as a straight line, just a linearized tendon. We also have had spline in there now for a couple of versions. And we've created this new option called fillet. So if I, um, let's go ahead and delete just a few tendons here, just for the sake of this example. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference here. So this, this is linearized. It's just straight line segments representing the tendon. If I change this tendon, for example, to spline, then we have additional options which have been there for spline and we'll we'll go ahead and, and move that out like so let's move it a bit further so now we have more of a curved um, tendon using the spline function um, so th these are pretty similar we also have this option for the um, linear fillet so let me go ahead or fillet radius is I believe what it's called so we'll go ahead I'll copy this tendon down to there. And now we're going to create this radius fillet. And if I go ahead and change the radius here, maybe to 30 feet and update that, you can see that we have straight line segments where we have a um, change in the um, direction, let's say, of each segment. Then we create some virtualized uh, radius that allows us to create curvature on that point relative to the adjacent segments. So this is a new way to represent tendons, which may be more in line with how they're represented through job, uh, shop drawing production. Um, we're going to save this model. And the next thing we're going to show is the ability to calculate long-term loss in the program. So if we take this same uh, tendon, for example, again, by default, the tendons are set to effective force method. So you now have the ability to, if you select calculated force method, in previous versions of the software, you would always have to lump sum the long-term loss um, based on this input here. You can still do that, but there's a new option using the 3D felt option, which is called calculate long-term loss. This is similar to adapt felt and also adapt PTRC. So you can enter the parameters for long-term loss and this is um, used primarily for unbonded systems. In this case, we'll go ahead and make that change. For that tendon, we'll go ahead and create a f this change for a few other tendons. I'll modify the selected tendons. If we go here to calculated option. Um, We can go to long-term stress, calculate it, and edit the properties here. Okay, and if we come back over to uh, tendon, I'm going to just change this, and I'll select those tendons and run the friction and loss calculator. Okay, so had I manipulated all the tendons, I could run it for all the tendons. Now, under reports, we can go to the tendon reports and we can generate a PDF report for the 3D losses. 
And the way that this loss diagram looks is shown here. We have this, this is a summary sheet for the loss diagram. We show the, the profile of the tendons, the, um, both the vertical and also the horizontal profile. If you have any in-plane in the program, this would be XY plane, uh, in-plane sweep. And then the friction loss and long-term loss graphs. We show some of the input parameters at the top. And in the uh, bottom of the graphs, we show the, the results for the losses, um, both for short-term and long-term for the tendon. So this will be available in Adapt Builder 2019. If you have any questions or input, please feel free to contact us at support at adaptsoft.com. Thank you.